What's up my hunger gringos? Welcome to Make It Less Sad, where I take recipes from around the world to get you off that takeout app, into the kitchen, and convert your sad weeknight meals into something you actually enjoy. This week we are tackling breakfast for dinner. I'm not talking about the fun breakfast for dinner where you make pancakes or french toast. No, 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 we're talking about the omelet because all you have in your house are some eggs that are probably expired. What we're gonna make is an omelet made for dinner. This week we're going to be doing a Chinese omelet. You probably already got eggs in your refrigerator. Spring onions are not that expensive, so what we're making here is a delicious cheap protein with ingredients that you probably already have. So let's take that sad breakfast for dinner omelet and make it less sad. First thing you're going to do is uh, mix up your eggs and you don't want to see any whites in those eggs, which you might recall from my fried rice episode, cross promoting the channel. Oh yeah. All right, now that we're done mixing up our huevos, we're going to put in some green onions. You're gonna kinda of get it thick like a batter. And next we're gonna add some salt. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna put this over a high flame. Um, you want it to get pretty hot, not too hot. It's a lot different than a traditional European omelet. So you're gonna add some of your canola oil. When it's smoking, that's when you know it's ready. All right, we're good to go. We're gonna grab our magical spatula over here and then add our eggs. You're gonna move it around a lot. Okay, so when it's kind of coming together and almost cooked, we're gonna kind of put it in a square shape. All right, so we're gonna have two squares because we added a lot of eggs and I'm gonna get a spatula to flip these guys. We're gonna cook for a little bit more time um, until the other side is brown. When the bottom is brown, we're gonna transfer it to our plate. So we're gonna cut these up into size, sizes good enough for chopsticks. And you're done. You just took your sad weeknight dinner omelet, made it a little less sad. Had an awesome time hanging out with you this week, my hungry gringos. Make sure to like and subscribe if it's your first time on the channel and you'll get an awesome new easy recipe in your inbox every single Wednesday. Big thanks to Andrea for suggesting this recipe. Two weeks in a row, you are killing it. If you want to suggest a recipe or if you want me to make something less sad for you, go check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash The Hunger Gringo, and leave a suggestion. Maybe I'll mention you at the end of this episode. Big thanks to our Patreon supporter, I would like to make that plural, Quills Rodriguez. You're awesome. Check out her podcast, The Talking Geek, and you can check out my Patreon on patreon.com slash The Hunger Gringo. Well, it was awesome hanging out with you this week, and until next time, this is The Hunger Gringo, signing off.